as a group of macroecologists working for the International Union for Conservation of Nature, we have been tasked with performing some climate-related species distribution modeling on amphibians in Angola. We went about this using global and local spatial regression modeling and compared which of the models was better at estimating the relationship between environmental variables and amphibian species richness. We also compared our findings with those of a study performed in tropical Colombia. To give a brief intro to regression modeling, it can be best described as a statistical method that predicts the value of a dependent variable based on a known independent variable. When data of a spatial nature becomes involved, regression modeling becomes slightly more complicated, as assumptions made by linear regression modeling are most often violated. This is largely as a result of Tobler's first law of geography, which states that everything is related to everything else, but near things are more related than distant things. Spatial regression modeling takes into account the effects of spatial autocorrelation. The models which we used in this task were the ordinary least squares, OLS, a global model, and the geographically weighted regression model, GWR, which is a local model. The main difference between local and global being that global models make a single estimate for the entire data set, while local models only consider portions of the data set at a time, making multiple assumptions for the entire data set. Angola is situated in the tropics on the west coast of Africa. The three environmental variables that were considered in this task were temperature, precipitation and altitude. The northern regions of Angola experience hotter temperatures than the south as they lie closer to the equator. The shifting of the intertropical convergence zone, ITCZ, plays a large role in, plain, in rainfall seasonality, where much higher rainfall is experienced during the months November to February when the ITCZ is shifted more southwards. This is also seen on the graph at the bottom right. The topography changes from a low-lying coast rising up into a plateau at elevations between 1,000 to 1,500 meters, which accounts for 65% of the total land surface area in Angola. Topography is also affected, also affects temperature and precipitation and has been taken into consideration when analyzing our results. In this report, ArcMap 10.6.1 was used to manipulate the supplied data. The model builder was used to create this cartographic process model. As previously mentioned, two regression models were used, OLS and GWR. Each regression model's standard residual was rasterized and mapped. The spatial autocorrelation was checked and verified using Morin's eye for both models. Lastly, clustering and outliers was checked by applying a a un unsilent local Morin's eye on the OLS model. A spatial join function was used to create the input data needed for modeling. This data includes mean annual precipitation, mean annual temperature, topographic variation and the dependent variable sp species richness. These variables were rasterized and mapped. When comparing regression models on face value, one notices that there is much less spatial autocorrelation taking place in the GWR model, as represented by more random pattern. In the the OLS model shows a gradual increase pattern in standard deviation as you move to the east. The regression model were used to model spatial distribution patterns of amphibian species. The ordinary least squared model indicated that all three variables were statistically significant, with the two variables, temperature and precipitation, having a positive relationship with species richness, while the topographic variation had a negative relationship. Thus, compared to the study done in Angola, differs where temperature is shown to have a negative relationship with species richness instead of topographic variation. In the Colombian study, their variables similarly, similarly to the variables in the Angolan study have different levels of importance, where within the GWR, geographically weighted regression model, temperature was the most important, and within the OLS model, annual precipitation was the most important environmental variable, followed by temperature. In comparison to the Angolan study, 
The ordinary least squared OLS model showed that mean annual temperature was the most important followed by annual precipitation. Both studies recorded topographic variation to be the lowest level of importance. The slight differences in the order of importances between temperature and precipitation in our study and the study done in Colombia is most likely due to the study being done, the Colombian study being done near the Andes Mountains in South America, which is categorized as a tropical rainforest climate, while the study in Angola is typically classified as either tropical monsoon or tropical savanna climate. When evaluating which of the two regression models were more suitable for modeling the relationship between amphibian species richness and the environmental variables, the three criteria used in the Colombian study were used. These were specifically the reduction of errors by eliminating autocorrelation in the residuals, secondly, to produce more accurate descriptions and predictions through a maximum fit, and lastly, a suitable balance between the number of parameters and the degree of fit. When evaluating these three criteria, it was found that the GWR model had satisfied all three conditions, whereas the RLS model had not satisfied a single one. Thus, allowing us to draw the conclusion that for the specific case study, the GWR model was more suited as it explained more of the variance within the map of species richness. When evaluating these three criteria, it was found that the GWR